Who else takes the lazy way out if you only have a little bit of fan apart to do? Currently working on binding 500 books. It's one of these crazy weeks that my videos aren't going to be that great. Got a couple more to go on there. Have some spiral bound stuff there and saddle stitched. Don't think those are going to get done this week. And I have the second half of uh, a thousand spiral bound booklets printed here. The 1070 has been running non stop for the past four business days. Um, and I got another 250 to do. So, sorry ahead of time. My videos are probably just going to be time lapses or the occasional me saying something. But, uh, yeah, here we go. You know, I find that like running a business or being self-employed is basically a, a constant juggling act because you're either slow and then you're stressed out that you need to find more work and you're trying to find more work or you're getting slammed and you don't know if you're going to get work done or you're going to make a mistake and it's going to cost you. So one thing I do know is this month I probably have a record number of clicks on all this equipment but Hopefully the mistakes are kept to a minimum. If anybody has a formula out there on how to run a stress-free business, you just make sure you let me know. Let me show you what I'm working on here. These, uh, we're doing a thousand of these. These are a stepped spiral bound booklet. So each of these is a different length. I think it's a half an inch difference. Um, so that takes a while because what I do is I print them and then we cut them down to size. I'll collate them, then we punch them, and then we spiral bind them. Good news is, is there's a punch on the way. I just bought an automatic paper punch. I doubt it's going to be here for this job, but in the future, it's going to speed things up big time. Um, and I also, you just watched me cut down those and they need to be spiral bound. So we're going to do those quick here. Then we're going to get back to the thousand books. took entirely too long. That's why we're getting the machine to do it. Got those punched. Well, I did it. Just when I was saying that when you get busy, you make mistakes. I almost printed twice as many that I needed. I caught it before it was quite too bad, but still a couple hundred sheets there is wasted. Bummer. Oh well. Okie doke. Got half of those coil bound. Put coils on the other half tomorrow. We're about two thirds of the way done this job, printing it anyways, and it's gonna be cutting, collating, punching, and coil binding that. So I'm gonna get very comfortable with this area of the shop. I just let this run after I leave and I'll come back and check it later. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'm starved, I skipped lunch. You wonder how I maintain my girlish figure. That's how I do it. 
So we'll be back here tomorrow. Okay, here we are, day two. Let's finish printing. Before I get started on those, I got covers I want to print on the 3070 and some guts to do here. So let's get those running. Well, actually, they're reprints from a previous time, so they're already saved in here. Uh, well, there's one of them. So let's proof that. We need 300 of them. They're four up. That means we got to print 75. So. Let's run them. That's why I love reprint so much. It's so simple. All right, I have two up covers here I'm printing. This is uh, 1319, 12-point C1S, grain long. I keep a stack of it here just for two up books. The reason I stopped that, see this line showing up every few prints. Pretty sure if I uh, change that, I think I did this before actually, change the expert adjustment, CPM down. We should be good. Looks great. All right, what's going on over here? Toner recovery. So every once in a while, not that often, you need to replace this down here. It fills up with waste toner. Most of the time, you can get away with just cleaning this window back here. There's an optical sensor that uh, detects when it's full. It's pretty full though. I don't know if I can get away with it now. But sometimes it just gets dirty and you can kind of clean it out. I was able to clean that out a little bit. We might get a little bit more out of it. But that happens again today. I'll put a new one in. So somebody gave me the tip several videos back to stack up my spiral bound books like this when I'm crimping it, kind of do a, a assembly line process and that really speeds things up. So thanks for that tip and uh, keep the tips coming from everybody else out there. That really saves me a lot of time. So nice and flat. Check that out. It is a balmy 83 in here today. Because of this. Because of that. Because of that. And that. This one just got finished. It's toasty. Somebody made a comment too earlier uh, that our electric bill has to be crazy with all this equipment in here, but it's usually only like 300 bucks a month, which I think is really reasonable considering the electric load that we uh, we run on a day-to-day -day basis. So I don't think that's too bad. We have three-phase commercial service in here, so that might help lower it too. But yeah, it's about 300 bucks a month. Okay, a 
it's day, I don't know what. This thing has been running non-stop though, and I got another, after this is done, I got another 4,000 clicks of postcards to do for tomorrow. These drums I put in, they're almost halfway gun all, done already. I mean, it's, that's awesome. I am stocked up on toner and I got another, I think eight containers of toner coming. I cleaned some dude out on eBay, great price. So I'm gonna be good to go in toner. And I also got some spare drums and I have developing units and developer as well for when that goes. I'm just gonna keep running it, it looks great. Uh, I'm, I'm just really happy with this thing. It's running non-stop and I'm really excited for next Wednesday. It's gonna be the end of the month and I get to tally up all the clicks and put it in my spreadsheets and just see how much I saved. So that's gonna be really exciting and the reality is, is this is gonna run every single day non-stop until then. So that's, that, that's just really exciting. I'm, I'm pumped. insane. If I wasn't already busy, I had two people. One person wanted 500 booklets by the end of the day. Another person, 75. Got those both done. They're out the door. I got half my postcards printed. Next week's going to be just as crazy as this week, uh, which really makes the day go by quick. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned to see what happens next week. See ya.